first of all, all of this nonsense, all of this noise, all of this whining by Wall Street, it's making me sick. 140% of GameStop was short. I didn't hear one person on TV complaining about Wall Street trying to crush GameStop. 140% short. I told my subscribers, buy this stock, and they made a fortune. I also told them to buy Virgin Space, uh, Virgin. We took profits on that today. Fizz, that's up huge. Tangers is up huge. Neil, you can't allow Wall Street to short 75% of a stock, and nobody says anything crush these companies into the dirt, and then when the individual investor makes money, everyone's up in arms. Oh, they're going to lose their shirt? Don't you think people are trading? If it traded 80 billion shares a day, people are ringing the register. I have a kid who bought a house. He, had a, he made $50,000 and bought a house. So, yes, yeah, some people are going to lose and some are going to win, but if, you wanna, if they want to change the rules of the game now because the general public is making money after decades of the shorts crushing thousands of stocks into the dirt, I have watched stocks being crushed completely to zero, uh, and no one ever whispered anything because those stocks didn't have Wall Street sponsorship. They were small names. Maybe they went public through a reverse takeover. Whatever it was, the shorts have had their way with the market for decades. No one's ever complained about it. So I am thrilled. If you were going to try to destroy a company by shorting 140% of a stock, you have to accept the fact that individual investors are playing the same game that you're playing, and now you're losing. How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we got to talk about the Reddit GameStop stock situation. Now, I know there's more companies involved here. You have AME and Bed Bath & Beyond, but for speed's sake and simplicity's sake, I'll talk about GameStop as the example. Now, uh, before I even get into it, I just want to say that I am not a tax professional. Do not take anything in this video other than entertainment. This is not financial advice. If you take what I say in this video as financial advice, you're losing your shirt, but I digress. I think the best place to start would be with this whole thing about short stocks are what it is because, you know, that's being thrown around. Uh, GameStop was 140% shorted, all this and that. They kept shorting the stocks. It's immoral. Let's talk about what that means first, and then we get into everything else that's happening surrounding that. Now, when a stock is shorted, basically what that means is the company is dying. It's expected to fail. And when a hedge fund holds a short position on the company, they expect for the price to fall and then make profit off of the failure. Here's what happens. A hedge fund borrows the stock from a lender and they sell the stock immediately after they borrow it for the market price. Now, in their mind, it'll go down because the stock is failing. So let's say, for example, GameStop was $20, which it wasn't $20, but let's just say it was $20. And they wait for a while in the market as the company dies like a vulture. But anyway, they wait for a while. And it goes down to $5. So the lender is still owed the stock, not the money, but the stock. So the company that borrowed it and sold it immediately for the $20 must take the $20, go into the market, and then buy the stock back to give to the original lender. So how the hedge fund makes money is off the difference. So if they got $20 in the bank for what they sold, they can buy the stock back for $5, give the stock back to original company because all they, all they want is stock. They don't want the money. All they want is the stock. They keep the cash from the exchange, from the difference of the price being lower. Okay, so they had 20 bucks, bought it back for five, returned the stock with that $5. So they kept 15 Multiply that times many thousands of stocks, potentially, or however many they had, okay? That's how they make money. I was hearing something like $55 million, uh, in shorts on GameStop. If I'm wrong about that, let me know in the comments below. But what happened was that the stock did not fall in price. The stock skyrocketed in price, all right? GameStop at a certain point was $2.80 a share, it's now, I think, $400, right around there, between $350 and $450 per share. So if you are, I don't know, Melvin Capital, and you bought a bunch of short stocks or borrowed, not bought, if you got a bunch of short stocks in GameStop, 
at three dollars sold it for three dollars all you have to buy each stock back in real capital is three dollars per share but now it's four hundred dollars per share how are you going to pay that you can't and some would say well they could just wait a little bit they waited it out no nah, you can't wait it out because you're going to get called the lender's going to call you and say hey we need that right now that's a real thing i think it's called being called we need that right now the stock's going up you're going to be crazy in debt we need that stock right now. We need the money. We need, we need the stocks back right now. Not even the money. We need the stocks back right now. And you can't cover it or we need collateral. Now you're in debt. I think they said they needed $2.7 billion, monthly capital that is, to even stay afloat, to stay operational because they didn't have enough money to cover what was going on with the increase in price. Now, that you, kind of, you can't understand what that is. Move on from there. Let's talk about Wall Street Bets. This is a group on Reddit. It's like a chat room. Uh, it's, it's really the same thing as watching Jim Cramer on his CNBC late night show where you got callers that call in and ask about stocks and they talk about what's some good stocks, bad stocks. It's the same thing. There's no difference. You know, shout out to my man Charles Payne at the very beginning. He has a mailing list, I suppose, where he recommends certain stocks. It's the same exact thing. If you're giving information about stocks and you go out there as an individual person with your Robinhood app, TD Ameritrade or whatever, and you're buying stocks based upon what you think is the right thing to do because you talked about it, you got some advice. That's nothing wrong with that. That's basic stuff that you do, all right? So that's what they do on Wall Street Bets. They talk about stocks and that's what it is. And somebody or some guys on there realize, hey, it's a bunch of uh, hedge funds shorting GameStop at a crazy amount, 140%. But they realize that and they say, hey, if we buy into it, or not we, but if you buy into it, because we is kind of a different thing. But if you buy into it and the price goes up, you can cash out because that'll force the fund to have to buy it back. They're going to get called when the price goes up. That's exactly what happened. And as the price went up, the hedge funds had to pay the money because they got called and it just it kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger. All right. Now you get all kinds of problems. You get hedge funds potentially going bankrupt, needing bailouts. Uh, it's, it's got all kind of attention all over the media, social media, everywhere. It's big. Elon Musk got into it, uh, retweeting Wall Street bets, talking about GameStop. And if you have Elon Musk talking about it, I mean, you just, you know, you're throwing gasoline on the on an electric fire at that point. It's going to rage out of control. So Wall Street bets blew up, had like a million new people on it. Uh, the Discord server, same thing. And they banned the Discord server talking about hate speech, but I'm not sure about that. And they temporarily had blocked Wall Street bets. They didn't ban it. They just temporarily blocked it. And I kind of I understand why they did that, because they were being inundated with so many, so many new people, millions of people from all over the world. You couldn't really moderate it because you wouldn't have a good community that's not full of trolls and garbage. You got to moderate it. And with that amount of people on there, and the influx of traffic, it can be hard to contain. So they had it shut down for a while, but they brought it back. You can go to it right now. Wall Street bets on Reddit. Just Google it. You can see it for yourself. All right. So that's created a lot of problems. Now you have certain apps you can use to purchase stocks like Robinhood. And as of right now, a lot of the hot stocks that have been hyped up by Wall Street bets like GameStop and I think Best Buy, not Best Buy, but Bed Bath & Beyond, and AME, you can't even buy those right now on Robinhood. You can buy other stocks. The app is not shut down, but you can't even buy GameStop or anything else like that on the app. I think Webull, the same thing. Cash App, the same thing. TD Ameritrade, the same thing. If I'm wrong about that, let me know in the comments. Now, the issue with Robinhood specifically is that um, Citadel, I think, is the chief financier. And Citadel also bailed out melvin if i'm wrong about that let me know but i know citadel is involved with melvin and they're also involved with robin hood i'm seeing tweets talking about the white house is examining what's happening with gamestop why would the white house be involved with it where is the illegality okay i'm not i don't care about anything i'm not the moral police i don't care about whatever okay hedge funds anybody else that is looking at a company and they heavily shorten it because it's about to be dead and they're trying to capitalize on that is that moral I mean, I'm not the moral police. I don't really too much care about that. Is it legal? That's all I really care about. If you're following the law, that's my only concern. I don't see any laws that are broken with Wall Street bets on the Reddit or the Discord. 
there's nothing wrong with talking about stocks. Now, if you organize as a conglomerate group with a bunch of money together and do something, that could be a potential SEC violation. But what was happening on Wall Street bets and what's still happening there is not illegal. If that's illegal, then so with Jim Cramer's television show. Same thing with Charles Payne. Same thing with everybody that talks about stocks and gives advice or any kind of tips and tricks and whatnot. That'd be illegal. Uh, if Wall Street bets is wrong, then everything else is wrong. This is the game. If it's illegal, then it's illegal, but it's not. I think it's just unprecedented. What's happening with GameStop is this, and other companies as well. Um, they should be bankrupt, really. GameStop should be bankrupt. So should AME, really, the movie theater. They all should be bankrupt. But if they're not bankrupt, then they could still be on a stock market. Yes, they could still, you know, they, they could still be there. They shouldn't be on a stock market. They shouldn't be public anymore. They should be bankrupt. But they're not due to, you know, federal, the, the, the Federal Reserve printing money and all this and that. And you got regular normies that got their STEMI checks, $600, and they putting that on Robin Hood, don't even really care. It's like $600. Hey, it's not doing me no good anyway because, you know, I'm going to need more than that. I may as well just put that into my Robin Hood app and see what happens. And people are banking. They're making plenty of money. They, they're killing it. And you can't stop that. That's American enterprise. But you got some things that are just in the way. You know, big money is going to fight back. Wall Street will not go down without a fight. This ain't going to be just, oh, we're going to come in here as you know, regular normies. And, you know, nah, it's going to be a fight. But they have no legal leg to stand on. All they can do is use some of their assets to prevent the stock from going higher in any kind of way that they can, trying to skirt the law. But this is the game. They skirting the law and we're following the law. Although they're saying we're skirting the law. I'm seeing stories talking about, oh, Wall Street bets are hackers. Hackers ain't no hacking. If you go and see public information about what hedge funds are shorting stocks or that a stock is shorted in general, and you go in there and you buy it because you understand the game, that's not illegal. That's not hacking. That's just public information. You can go on your internets right now just type in on Google and find it. That's not illegal. Hacking is when you like breaking into somebody's stuff, breaking into somebody's website and taking things you shouldn't have. But if I just Google the weather and I get the weather, you can't say I hacked um, NASA to find the weather. It's like, nah, this is public information. You could, anybody can Google it and find it. But as I close, I want to say this. I like what's happening personally. I think it's going to be a battle with Wall Street for sure. It may be some pain involved because really what's happening with GameStop is that it's kind of a pyramid. And at the end of the pyramid, you know how it goes. Somebody's going to take a loss. You know, whether it be a regular normie that's trying to hold on forever, uh, the hedge funds, whoever, they're going to take a loss. So I would not get into it myself. This is not advice, but I'm not going to get into it because it's a little bit too risky right now. Kind of too late to get into it. And you also have Robin Hood and whatnot blocking it, but that's a different story. Um, but it's going to be some pain at the end of it. But I like what's happening just from the point of view of people using their legal avenues to get money in America. It's legal, period. It's all that really matters. And I also like how the left and the right are kind of united on this front. It's saying, hey, man, you know, the you know, Wall Street hedge funds are trying to do all this and that. People just rising up, doing whatever they're doing legally, and it's fine. I'm cool with it. I'm cool. As long as everything's above board and legal, what's the, what is the problem? I'm no moral police. And if it's about morality, then the hedge funds that are preying upon these dying companies should be held to a higher moral standard than a regular normally with $20 in his uh, cash app or Webull or Robinhood account. But I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what say you? Do you think that this craze of the stocks and whatnot on social media being hyped up and the pump and dump, is that going to be a thing going forward into the future? If that's your viewpoint, let me know why in the comments below. Do you think it's a good thing what's happening? That regular people are just smartening up and, and they're using their money, their hard earned cash to go out here and make money. I love it. You know, because I'm not really trying to hear no excuses. People saying, oh, I can't do this. I can't do that. Nah, this is America. There's plenty of legal ways to make money. As long as what you're doing is legal, that's all that really matters. The morality stuff, leave that for somebody else to talk about. That's not what I'm here to even judge. I don't even really care. 
really, you know, because like I said, if it's about morality, talk about the hedge funds that are preying upon these dying companies. I mean, if that's fine, then so is what people are doing, you know, taking advantage of what they're taking advantage of. Everybody's playing the game here. It's not even about GameStop or anybody else. It's about regular people following the law. If you don't like it, then change it. But if you change the law for regular people, then you got to do it for the hedge funds and everybody else as well. It can't be one set of laws for the big guys and a different set for the small guys. Have everybody be held to the same standard. That's all I ask for. But whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace. Thank you.